this is the community spotlight. So we talk about some really great people that are doing great things in our community. Uh, very excited to have with us today from the, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the East Valley, the CEO of that organization, Connie Perez. Please welcome Connie. Thank you, Connie. Thank you so much. Connie, you are doing such great work in our city. Thank you so much. Tell us about the East Valley Boys and Girls Club. I'm sure you've got an elevator speech and you can give it to us in a, in a <laughs> We'll, we'll be bit. quick. So yes. the Boys and Girls Clubs of the East Valley is actually 11 clubs in nine communities and we stretch all the way from Apache Junction out to our Gila River Club in Levine. In Mesa, we actually have two clubs. Uh, one, the Grant Woods Branch, um, which is kind of in that Rotary Park uh, area. And then uh, we have a small club on the campus of Stevenson, uh, school. See, not, and then before the show, you and I were talking about this because yes. I said, okay, you have two clubs, familiar with the Grant Woods Club, it's a beautiful uh, structure, uh, does a, a, a large capacity for helping it a lot does. of people. Tell us that the Stevenson Club is on the campus of Stevenson Elementary School. It is. Where, what part of Mesa is that located in? Uh, kind of the east and kind of around power. Um, just off of the 60. Which is now so. the middle of Mesa, yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, hard to believe. That's great. Um, but it's, it's a small club. Um, it's actually two portables. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, uh, on any given day, 60 or 70 kids there. Uh, it's really interesting because um, it is, the things that they're doing are amazing given what they have. My very first tour there, I, I went in and I saw like on top of boxes that were like on the side because they don't have very much storage. There were, it was like, a, uh, I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like a charging station, had all these little things on it. What it was, it's their bots and the kids actually program, they draw lines like black, blue, blue, black and it tells the bot which way to go. Wow. And these kids are actually learning the basics of programming in Very this cool. tiny little portable. So. so when I think of Boys and Girls Clubs, I'm, I'm thinking primarily after school programming. Is that uh, after school the bulk of what you do? Okay. So the best way to think about Boys and Girls Clubs is we're in session when uh, school is out. Okay. So after school, um, but in Mesa actually because we have our Mesa Arts Academy uh, mm -hmm. charter school on the same campus as the Grant Woods branch. Um, that we open at 7 in the morning, the kids come in for breakfast, and we are open for the teens until 9 at night. Wow. So um, during the day, we're trying to work more closely with the community to make sure we're using our buildings, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes we have um, online or charter schools that mm -hmm. will come in. Uh, and use our building during the day. That's great. Yeah. So, so speaking of working with the community, I'm sure you need help. Uh, what, uh, for, for folks that are maybe here or watching this on TV and they say, wow, what a great organization, I should do more to help the, the youth in my community, what, what's at the top of your list of things that people can do to help you? So the, the first thing I would say is, if you ever have a chance, just come and visit us at the club so they understand what we do. People think about it as safe, fun, after school time, and it is, but it's also very programmatic. We have academic success, good character and citizenship programs, um, uh, healthy lifestyle programs. So the best way to figure out how to help is to get over there and see it for yourself. Certainly we always need donations, mm -hmm. but those donations can be to very specific programs or buildings or things that align with what you care about. Mm -hmm. Um, so donations are always great. We love to have companies uh, come and do projects. Uh, and the most fun is when they come and do a project like clean up a room or something like that, but then they do stuff like have root beer floats and pizza with the kids so they get a chance to work with them. Sounds like you're really hard to work with. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I think it sounds like literally anything that somebody might want to do, you would, yeah. the answer from you is yes, please come do that. I mean, I think the important thing is that when people come to help us, it's yeah. meeting their objectives as well, not just, not just ours, because that's how we get to be a part of the community. That's great. And we're working really hard on that. Well, uh, this is a much needed program in our city, and so we are very grateful for the great work that you do. Uh, Thank and you so we'll, much. Let's, let's, let's spread the word that we all need to rally around the East Valley Boys and Girls Club. This is a great organization in our city. Well, we certainly appreciate it, and all of you. And your, your, town, your, your team has really stepped up this year to help us. So just wanted to thank Dennis and, and Liz and the team at the city. Well, that's why we're here. All right, well, thank you very thank much, you, Connie. Sir. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Connie.